Welcome parents and guardians to the University of Warwick. I'm Hannah Friend and I'm the Director of Wellbeing and Safeguarding here at the University. And I'm responsible for the University's wellbeing strategy and the many teams that support the wellbeing of our community. Coming to University is a significant event for students and for parents in any year. But there's no escaping that the changes that we have encountered over the last 18 months bring new considerations. The University has put in place many practical measures to adjust to these changes. And going forward, we will continue to provide on-site testing for staff and students. We are also providing a centrally located vaccination hub, making vaccinations accessible to students. The Test and Trace and Isolate team will continue to review and monitor the impact on students having to quarantine or isolate so that we can address those needs. These are all very useful and practical adjustments to help keep our community well. The well-being and safety of our community really relies on us living our values. Doing so will equip us to face any challenge, be that the day-to-day -day or indeed a global crisis. Because if we treat each other with respect and we take personal as well as collective responsibility, then the rest should follow. And when we say we, we mean staff and student alike. We make no distinction in the behaviours that we expect. We refuse to accept discrimination or abuse of any sort and any deviation from these expectations will be addressed with action and most importantly with education. Wellbeing at Warwick really must be everybody's business. Covid brought with it many uncertainties and many of us were left wondering how to be and what to do. And here at Warwick we developed our own Covid code of conduct. Not to give more restrictions or to apply additional pressures but to help people know how to be and know what to do, given clarity in uncertain times. Really, our code of conduct is just an extension of our values. We can take care of the practical adjustments and the physical requirements to keep our community well. But the well-being and safety of our community really relies on each and every one of us making a personal commitment to live our values.